Welcome to Mountain High Adventures YouTube channel where we talk about all the mountains around Las Vegas and adventure running. Welcome back adventurers. We're out here in Calico Basin. It's Tuesday morning. Normally I'd be out here with the See You Next Tuesday crew, but we're not doing any group runs anymore because of the coronavirus. We're trying to hashtag flatten the curve. So I'm out here running solo this morning. You can see Craft Mountain behind me. In this video, I'm gonna attempt to set the Craft Mountain FKT. Stay tuned. Are you guys catching this sunrise? Holy cow. Hey guys, if you like outdoor adventure videos, trail, ultra running, and mountain climbing, go ahead, smash that red subscribe button. Join Mountain High Adventures on YouTube. Give me a like or a thumbs up and shoot me a comment down below. Also, you can click on that bell up in the corner and you'll get a notification every time I upload a new video. Here's a little history about the Craft Summit Loop FKT. Uh, Craft Mountain is a super fun scrambling paradise. Uh, it's also known for its world-class bouldering at the base of the mountain. Over the years, I found somewhat of a standardized route that I really like to take. There's a seam up the southwest face of Craft, and it goes at a second, third class scramble the whole way up to the summit. So I love taking that seam straight up to the summit. It's about a thousand feet to the top. And then the one of the main hiking trails I like to use is the descent. It kind of follows the northwest ridge off the summit of Craft, and then it drops down northwesterly towards Hell Hill. And you get to the saddle, the top of Hell Hill. I think some people call it uh, Goblin Pass. Uh, and you come down the trail, Hell Hill, back to the Craft parking lot. Makes it a perfect two mile loop. So again, there's all kinds of ways up and down Craft Mountain. Like I said, it's a scrambler's paradise, but I found this Southwest seam to be the most efficient way up to the summit. And the descent route is very straightforward, easy to follow on the way down. I really like that descent route. So I set up this route as an FKT. I actually ran it a couple of months ago, um, one morning and just kind of sat on it. And recently I posted it to the FKT site and they accepted it as a route and I was granted the FKT for the Craft Mountain Summit Loop. It's a two mile loop again. My time was 39 minutes uh, and some change. I can't remember exactly, 39 and a half minutes or something along those lines. So this is where the drama begins. A well-known FKT enthusiast by the name of Jason came into town and ran up craft and took my FKT. He logged a time of 37 minutes and two seconds. So he beat my time by about two and a half minutes. The drama comes in in that he actually only completed 1.67 miles of the two mile loop. He cut the descent very short and took a different descent gully, thus chopping off some of the distance and maybe some of the time. He claims that the down climbing that he had to do was harder uh, terrain than the trail that I took, thus it probably took him longer. But I don't know about that. I'm gonna put my route to the test. I'm coming back here today to take the FKT on the standard route of craft. I'm gonna see if I can beat his time of 37 minutes and two seconds. Been getting a little warm up here, getting my legs going, heading over here to the craft parking lot, getting ready to set up for the FKT attempt. Okay guys, I'm gonna stretch out here for a minute and get a little bit more warmed up before my attempt. But I'm gonna strip down to pretty much nothing, just shorts, shirt, and shoes and uh, go for this FKT. I'm not gonna be bringing the camera because of course I'm going ultra light, trying to go as fast as possible. So I will check back in after the FKT attempt and let you know how it goes. Stay tuned. Okay guys, checking in here after my effort. You can see Craft Mountain up here behind me. That was much harder than I thought. I gave it everything I had. 
I rushed up to the top, ran down my route. I wound up only logging 1.83 miles, so I cut the corners a little bit, it looks like. But I did it in a total of 28 minutes and 58 seconds or something like that. So we went sub 30, sub 29 minutes on the Craft Mountain FKT. We're gonna post it to the FKT site. I felt really good about that effort this morning. It was very efficient. I didn't really get off route at all. I went straight up the seam. I got to the summit in 1703, which I think I could actually shave a little bit of time off of that. I didn't think I was really hustling that much up the climb. I kept a pretty steady pace, but I think I could do the climb slightly faster. The descent was pretty straightforward and pretty fast. Don't know that I could do the descent much faster than that. A um, Couple of spots where I bobbled and just lost my flow for you know a second or two, but for the most part, it was a pretty clean descent. Um, see if I made the summit in 1703 and the round trip was right around 29, just under 29, that means the descent was 12 minutes. That's pretty fast. I like to see anybody else get from the top of Craft Mountain down here to the parking lot in 12 minutes or faster. Craft Mountain FKT. Okay guys, short video today. Just wanted to bring you along on that effort. Uh, stay tuned. I got some big adventures coming up later this week. Gonna be doing some water caches for my big 420 Red Rock Grade 8 Aeroviper Viper Strong 50K effort. So stay tuned for some water cache episodes, some root finding, and then next week we're gonna be running the Air Viper Strong race. Stay tuned for that. Thanks for following along on the channel, you guys. Really appreciate you guys. Don't forget, you can join Mountain High Adventures right here on YouTube for free. Just click that subscribe button over there in the corner. Many more adventures to come. Hit him out!